Like, but maybe we might get more backstory in the second. Maybe, movie. maybe. But like, I think Penguin is gonna be one of those villains that's like, it's kind of like uh, Alfie Solomon's in Peaky Blinders. Yeah, you, where he's he's always there. You go see he, him, he, you get some information, and you then tell like, him stop doing your shit, and then you leave him alone. Yeah, but then like he's, he backstabs you or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think I think that's gonna be the case with him. Uh, the three villain, uh, the two other villains, I would say, I don't know, I'm kind of defeating, but the two other villains that I would like to see is obviously next is going to be the, uh, the Joker. And I think it's always going to be, that's always has to be the case where any Batman series, they're all, you know what I be think the Joker as a, as a villain with this tone would be good is the, they mentioned the, the, the Waynes and I forgot the other family, like Hush, like that storyline. Hush would be, that, that was my other choice it was going to be hush yeah like the that would be i feel like the tone and like how we, we're progressing tone, and they mentioned it but tone would be also really good for um it would mr freeze because you know the, why half the city is now sunk oh, so if they bring mr freeze shit. they could add this storyline where like a third of the city is just frozen and we don't know why like oh, the, the first like, 40 minutes and then batman's like yo what the hell is going on like the he, he hears police reports where like people are like frozen in like uh, an area like near the lake or the river of Gotham, and they're like, "What the hell?" And he goes, and like you were introduced to Mr. Yeah. Freeze, and he has a whole castle. Like that's that, that would be really, really that's cool. Actually so they sick. could bring Hush and Mr. Freeze, and have Joker like <laughs> as a big villain at the end, where the, he teases to for a third movie. Well, here's the thing: the I would only accept Mr. Freeze if he was played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> you know what? Kill the dinosaurs, the ice, ice age, age. <laughs> the ice age. <laughs> Take two of this in the morning and call me. <laughs> No, but uh, stay cool, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you guys think about um, Harvey Dent? I think, but like, I I think he would fit in this tone of movie. But like, it's been done, bro. Like they did it so well in uh, like in Gotham. Uh, I would say, I would say the only, uh, you have to you have to try new villains, but you always have to do Joker. You could you could bring. Yeah. I think Mister Freeze and Hush would be amazing. Mister Freeze, like Mister Freeze, see him yes. here and there. He's a good villain. In Hush, I think people like live action. If we see Hush, like people would like freak out. That would be such a great storyline, guys. Yeah. Hush in general is just re- is all, has always been really cool. And Joker in the, is in that storyline too, so maybe he could play a role. Mm. Maybe cool. maybe he'll be the side villain to to Hush, not like to, to, to Joker. Mm-hmm. But no, but I, I don't think Hush should be a side villain. I think he should be he, the main villain. What if Joker the is a side villain? I think That'd main villain, Wait. main villain Hush, a Mister Freeze has a little backstory, like in mm. like no, you know. No, no, I think I think since you're go- side, if you're, if side you're no no if you're going to have Mister Freeze freeze half the city, it has to be in like. The next movie, so it has to be Joker and Mr. Freeze, and then Hush, in and the then shadows. Hush, and then Hush should be in the next movie. Mm. Okay, we'll see. I guess we're gonna see what Matt Reeves is gonna do. Yeah, that should be that should be the. They plan. could bring back. They could bring back Bane. How how would you think they would? They could br- Bane they could bring this? like a group of villains that are kind of together. The Sinister Six, not the Sinister <laughs> Six, but like. I'm not a big like, fan you know, of like Bane, a, to be honest. Like in the Arkham games or like the Telltale games where it's like Harley Quinn, Bane, Ra's Mr. Al-Ghul. Freeze. Ra's al Ghul. Like, bro, it's been done, everything. Like you need more. Like Man Bat. Why don't yeah. you bring Man Bat? <laughs> Man Bat. As a side, as a side <laughs> villain. Fucking Firefly, bro. <laughs> Yo, that, that wouldn't be that bad. They could bring Firefly. <laughs> or Firefly could be the side villain to Joker. You or need to. I think for any of the movies. Mad most but I most, think of, most of the really good. Wise, most of the really good movies, they always have. Uh, one main villain, one side Bro, villain. Bro, yeah. fucking Green Ivy. Poison, Poison Ivy. Ivy. Oh shit! No, no, Poison, Poison, Ivy. Can't Poison Ivy. Why? Honestly, Why you <laughs> fuck you. The most logical answer is Mr. Freeze, because literally the whole city is like flooded. Like, yeah. like that's a wasted opportunity. Bro, fucking what was it? Mad Hat. Mad Hatter. Uh, Mad Hatter. Uh, no, yeah, Mad Hatter, Hatter actually would not be that bad, but not as a main villain. Like, as like a just side like he deals with him for like twenty minutes and like you never see him. <laughs> like, again. like, like, like. Let's look at. He's back. trying let's to get back. somewhere and he gets captured and then. The story deviates and Batman has he's like let's fuck. Look, like, let's I have to look go through this. Let's again. look back through the the Christian Bale Batman hmm. and see what like who are the main and side villains for each one. Like if you look at like main like villain B- Batman Raj begins Al-Ghul, Raj Al Ghul and then side, side villain Scarecrow. Scarecrow. But there was the cri- there was Falcone in that movie too. Yeah, but like to a lesser extent, okay. right? And then second movie it's the Joker, and then secondary villain is Two Face, and, and then the third movie the, is Bane. The, no, Bane is a side villain, and the main villain was Talia Al Ghul, which is Raj Al Ghul's daughter. Oh shit, that's true. Yeah, I remember that. Because he kills, because he kills Raj Al Ghul. If I'm not mistaken, 
mistaken, he, right? He kills Gar Gadot in the first movie. Kills him, but like he by, was mm. resurrected or something. No, no, not 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 in those movies. Like the he Dark dies Knight in the series. first movie and he just dies. I think I think no sure Pitts, yes, I think Ra's al Ghul being in the new ones would not be super great because then it would be like and a supernatural element. Like, yeah, and he's and been done. I, I I like the realistic gritty. For sure. been done in video games and and in the uh, the Arrow series, like he was a prominent yeah. character in for okay, like a okay. lot of seasons. So. They have to come up with like Mr. Freeze. Like we Mr. need Mr. Freeze. Yeah, Freeze. yeah, like like who was the last Mr. Freeze? Fucking like. Go- Wait, have you guys seen Gotham? No, I don't watch that show. I'm not a big fan. But let's not talk about okay. that right now. Bro, fucking the- was it Doctor Strange? The Doctor yeah, Strange. Hugo, 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 Hugo Strange, Hugo Strange, Hugo Strange. Oh, Hugo Strange would be he good. would be fucking. But crazy. he was just like in Arkham. Do you have to? Okay, so basically, second movie deal with whatever, and third movie, and you bring in Arkham and like Hugo Strange and like a massive like plot like. A plot but where like Hugo Strange and Hush working together. And what do you guys think about the uh, no, the Batmobile? Standing. 